Zamba's robbed. Oh my god. I think John is good. I think we need a miracle here. But you know Philly is about to get very, very loud. Oh my god. I I see the crowd and I see about half of them are Philly people left, so we can hear it. Momo already making it sound like there's a thousand people out there. The scrap going on, somehow like not getting hit by that gyro and just keeping the pressure going, but he's gonna get put a juggle here, Lyric. And if he's not able to fight his way back down, this is already racking on some big damage for Jonathan. This is not the start we expected to see. I am very surprised that John is doing what a lot of players should do. Wait for Light to strike first. Light is a very aggressive player. He really feels the blood moving through his veins as he kind of plays here. And John is just waiting for him to come on in. There is the run up grab, down throw, tries to find party time, great air dodge out by Light, but now here comes Light. Up to forward air into the mistech punish. My goodness, just the punish game on this guy is just yeah. master class. Light has been the innovator of that forward air throughout. Uh, just pre-quarantine, post-quarantine, you've seen him start to implement it to control anti-air, the aerial space as a recovery tool, and we're starting to see these drag downs to set up more tech chase situations, right? Find those up smashes, find those combo extensions, and it's just allowed him to just really open up Fox's combo game, right? There's the advantage states, there's pressure, and now he's just bringing it all the way back, but still not able to find the stock. Jonathan's managing to scrap with him, but getting caught by that up smash lyric, and so close, but still not going to find that first off. Honestly, not looking too phased by it at all. I'm loving how Light is just throwing out the shine as well. This is kind of where a lot of players start to crumble here. They really want the stop that bad, but still, I mean, your forward air on Jonathan's shield right away, that is going to be stock. There's the down tilt forward air from Light. Once again, the combo conversions have been really fantastic from Light. This is just what makes this guy this and, guy. And not only this, like, he's managing to find Find that last time doesn't look right there, but it has found these one or two lasers. You see it again right in that moment by just getting a little bit extra chip damage. And you might say, oh, why does that matter? It's like, well, you know, that might add up over time and be one or two less interactions. You need to find those up smash kills, find those stocks. And against a character like Rob, you want to keep this character playing neutral, keep this character on stage as little as possible. A lot of the times players would panic being on a platform versus light, but I think Rob has a lot of tools that say, you know what, it's okay. There's just the, the jab to just take Jonathan out of the momentum here, trying to find the back air. It's not going to be enough, but Gyro actually saving Jonathan as he misses the tech there. Very, very important here. Light, though, going to be able to find the back air as both of them going to reel back in the seat, and now Light on the verge of taking game one. And you saw Light I, with some very slow back air pressure, which is very unusual for him, right? Normally, you see those come out very, very fast, right? Mix up the timings, mix up the tights, but he just started to slow it down, and that's what caught Jonathan off guard, reading the roll to keep this oh, extension no. going, these up tilts, <laughs> trying to find the back air, not going to do so. Instead, it's going to be Jonathan's back air, closing out the stock lyric. That being said, still a ways to go. If he wants to get back in this one, he's got to get out of the blender, get out of this Fox Vortex, and... I mean, he just can't find a way right now. That, that was absolutely nasty. Just 90% off of it and even getting the read there as well. Light is insane. But now here comes John throwing the gyro. It is going to be Light finding the back air. I love how sometimes Light just really just waits for you to strike first, but it is going to be Josh then finding the up smash. There is the forward throw here. So we're trying to mix up on the rotor arms. It's not going to be enough, but Josh then knows how to tech here. It's getting yeah. so close, but it does not matter. Light going to be able to sneak in through the back air as Josh then throws Throws out the twirly finger. We're going back to PS2. And just light, you saw that that Firefox off stage at the end there. He was so it was so it's so so smart. Like if you look at this, he is already going underneath the gyro beforehand. He's already reading that the rotor arm is gonna come out, knowing he's gonna get put, and is ready for that immediate attack as well. It's just so impressive because Jonathan, he's ready for it, but then Jonathan's in turn ready to find that tech in the moment and get his both players just beautiful routing, but unfortunately for Jonathan, it's just still not enough for him to close it out. That tech, though, was crazy because Light was ready, and then Jonathan was ready for him to be ready, and that tech that? window is so small. <laughs>
Why, why is he throwing out the, the, the hands like that? Regardless, though, we are back on Pokemon Stadium 2. It is going to be light finding the first dash attack in for a couple up tilts here. Once again, I what I love about this player is how aggressive he is. I feel like there's no other player that does it like light. The amount of hype that he puts out. I mean, the combos, they all just link together so, so, so effortlessly that it just like looks like beautiful Smash Bros. Oh my. He may, I, I feel like Light is just operating on like another, like just a thousand IQ with Fox at all times. I feel like he just finds these strengths, these advantage states. He knows those, his not, which of his non-true extension routes to go for before you even have kind of picked your option. And managing to find just a very quick first stop. Once again, Jonathan not able to get out of this blender away from this vortex and this time, Light finally not getting called out by these up smashes either. Yeah, I mean, Light finding an excellent up tilt back air conversion that just literally took away all of Jonathan's momentum in that moment. Still has Light now on the stage, but sometimes I feel like a lot of players do this. They know exactly what to hit, but they throw it out either a little bit too early or they throw it out too late. Jonathan now getting a little bit too antsy for the KO too, which allows for Light to punish. I mean, look at that. Perfect parry on the back air into just the F smash punish. Boom, your stock's gone, and now Light up three to one. And that F smash was so smart too because he recognized that the spacing and on the aerial was such that if he got the parry, it would just lead perfectly into that F smash. Right, Joshua then spacing it a little lower might not have been in the same situation to die there, but this time he just can't even get back down. Light's calling him out, trying to land at the edge of these platforms underneath them and catching these landings and just putting Rob back in the air. He does have that those burners to get away, but eventually he runs out of fuel and once he does, he's just a big body who just can't get down. I, I mean, speaking of big bodies that just can't get down, eating multitudes of up airs into the just run up up smash. What's going on with Light, man? <laughs> that's that's just something I love about Light is that he is just so out there with everything that he does, right? The combos are out there, and then, you know, you go to the player cam, and then, you know, he's doing something with his hands, or he's taking and his did sleeves. You, and if you saw, and if you see this right at the end here. Okay, I'm trying to. You see, he actually drops the gyro. He drops that gyro for just a second. He was trying to find a Z-drop to get away, perhaps, but just on the wrong side, and it, it's just not going to matter. So now, getting into what potentially could be Jonathan's last game on the winner's side, going right back to PS2. And Lyric, considering how that game two went, how do you feel about not seeing any stage counter pick here in game number three? What you're comfortable with is what you're comfortable with. And honestly, I don't think it's the stage. I mean, you got to think about it, right? You're fighting a top 10 player in North America, it, even the world here. It, it doesn't really matter the stage. You might as well to go to something that you're comfortable with. Josh then is very used to fighting aggressive players. And honestly, this start has been really good. I just feel like, for example, we're throwing out the rotor arms a little bit too early. I feel like down air would have been the better punish here. As now Light finding double up, double forward air, finding it up. <laughs> Air and then, geez, back air, and no that, clinic. And that drift mix-up air dodge so good against a lot of the cast, but Fox falls so fast, right, that he can make, he can miss there, there and then still just activate a fast fall, follow that air dodge down, and still punish you for it. The it it's a, just the unfortunate situation of when you have to deal with a character as fast as Fox, how do you get away when they're just jumping up there with you? The custom combos on this man. My, oh my goodness, God. Philly is literally cringing, I see in the audience, from just the clinic that Light is putting on Jocelyn right now. There's the Nair, though. Perfect catch into the dash attack. Until dash attack. My goodness, Light, let him live. Let him breathe for a moment. First up air, second into the drag down, forward air, up till the combo just keeps going. Oh, no. Going he went for, for the, the F smash? smash? No Dude, way. He was, he was trying to get the clip and the shine to boo. He's going for the fire fox. Oh, Ox my Into the God. back here. Are you kidding me right now? Lyric, he... Jocelyn STI'd out of that Firefox, which Light decided to go back to stage. But you could see, if he was a little bit lower there, he was looking to maybe just bring that Firefox, just drag you all the way out into the blast zone. And Light was just cooking that whole third game. It just felt like he said, okay, playtime's over. I've got a tournament to win. I got to get my paycheck and go home. It's getting late out here. And... I, I, the first game was close. The second game was also close. See, he falls out. He was able to burner boost out of this at the end here. Here, once again. And, 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 right? He just falls out, out, right here. And as he jumps through, 
right? He's able to SDI out, get into that burner boost, and that's where you see Light recognizing that he's gonna pop out and go back to stage. If he was a little lower when that Firefox hit, you could bet we would've seen Light go in about 180 degrees in the opposite direction straight to that blast zone. Absolutely. Really good stuff coming out from Light. I mean, a, he got a, back a, and he a still clinic. managed to, he, he, An absolute clinic. That he, was a combo video. He comboed the, I, you fall out of my combo into I get back to stage and then just immediately jump off ledge and catch your, your disadvantage anyways. It, there was nowhere Jonathan could run. And PS2 is a large yeah. stage. It just felt like everywhere he looked, Light was just glued. It was like, who, who glued Light to Jonathan? Who handcuffed them together? Because he could not get away. Josh, then now will be 